fresh cut lilacs candle and a cup of coffee. What a lovely way to start the week. This rain, not so much, not so much. It has been relentless and still it goes on. Good morning, welcome to the another, the, the another world. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. It's almost going to be welcome to Monday, then it was going to be welcome to another weekly vlog, and it just, <laughs> it just went wrong. Welcome, thank you for joining me, I hope you are all well. Here we are, another Monday, another week, and today is the day that restrictions here in England are easing a little more, a little more. Um, hotels are opening, pubs are opening, restaurants are opening indoors. Um, it's been a while. It has been a while. Five months, I think, ish. And in some parts of the country, more than that, because when we had that tier system, a lot of parts of the country, you were in... I can't remember. It's all a blur now, isn't it? But a lot of the country, you were in semi-lockdown or pretty much lockdown for longer before that so I think in some parts of the country stuff hasn't been open since September so yay for that on the downside as I posted on um, Instagram this morning um, I happened to listen to three minutes or five minutes of news um, Ashley puts the news on first thing this morning as I was getting up at 6 30 and going out for my lake walk yes that's what I did at 6 30 this morning but I'll come back to that and within the five minutes of news that I, I was getting dressed while it was going on, what, what, within the five minutes of news that was happening, three times we were warned that we must, that the Prime Minister says we must exercise caution despite the fact that restrictions are easing a little bit. As I said on Instagram, I didn't see him exercising an awful lot of caution when he waited 18 days after cases hit 100,000 a day in India to shut the border. Uh, I'm just, honestly, trying to blame us is not a good idea, Boris. It's really not, because we can see through that. We are not stupid. Ugh. I mean, I've always, since the pandemic began, I've been a... You know, I've, I've said a lot that I think, you know, people moaning about the government and what they're doing and, you know, it, they, they, it, they didn't... Sorry, I've got a... What is going on? My, my watch is buzzing at me. I have tried to say all the way through this, or I have said, we shouldn't blame the government too much. They don't know, you know, they, they it's all new to them as well. But it's not new anymore, is it? And there's really not an excuse for this. So don't be blaming us for going to the pub for causing more COVID when you could have shut the border with India way before you did. Anyway, that started the week on, well, that started the week on quite a feisty note, didn't it? I've, I've been wanting to try something for a while, actually. I need to say a few things. Let me sit down with my coffee and see if I can pop you onto the little tripod. Let's do that. Okay, you're on your tripod. Try not to fall off. I know you're not at a perfect angle there, but that's a bit better, isn't it? So, glasses on. Um, I need to say, first of all, thank you so much to you people. You are just all so lovely. Um, yesterday, when the vlog where Ashley got his new car went live, and so many of you said to me, how there was not a single negative comment about it. It was just lovely, supportive, how happy you were for him, and you know he deserves it because he works hard, which he does. He does. You're right, and um, that I should be proud of it, and I am. Do not get me wrong. It's just. Um, sometimes you do kind of anticipate negativity where perhaps there isn't any and I will lots of you have asked to see more of the car and I will show you it when it is um we'll, we'll be going to we as a, I can't get my words out I cannot get my words out later on this week we are going to Dorchester to have a couple of nights away in a hotel and we will be taking the new car and I will show it to you then as it will be appropriate as we will be in it so um yeah, that I, I will definitely show it to you. So thank you for your interest and for being so lovely and positive about it. Now, let me have a sip of coffee. 
it's very nice coffee this it's a flavored one from aldi it's called um i'll show you the thing later it's el cafe i think that's their coffee brand isn't it and it's salted caramel or caramel it doesn't taste particularly caramelly but it's just a nice um, very unbitter coffee so another week here in England, things are opening up. How was your weekend? Ours was good, went to a jumble trail on Saturday, managed to dodge the rain showers. Weather has been frightful all weekend and it's still frightful now as I just showed you. Um, the jumble trail was quite good. It was a lovely walk around the village that it was in and where we used to live. So we were reminiscing. We haven't had a good walk around that village for a while. Um, and we saw some people that we knew from when we lived there who we haven't seen for years. So that was nice. Stopped and chatted to them um bought some bits and pieces to sell on ebay um bought some other bits and i think i bought myself oh i bought myself a jamie oliver cookbook a christmas book which i didn't have got most of his books but not the christmas one excuse me um and yes it was a jolly nice little trip out um and the rest of the weekend ashley spent clearing out the garage to try and fit his new car in he's already got a car in the garage and um, he needs to fit the other one in and I don't think he's going to be able to get them both in there he's filled up a whole skip with he's such a hoarder he's filled up a whole skip with crap out of the garage but it's not looking positive at the moment anyway he's got some plans for moving stuff around in there so hopefully he might be able to get it in at some point I spent a lot of the weekend filming and editing to get ahead of myself I think I said to you I've got a busy few weeks coming up and um, I wanted to get a little bit ahead with YouTube and I've filmed four videos I think over the weekend which you will see you'll, you'll have seen some of them already by the time you see this but um yeah those are coming up soon so I did quite a lot of that um yeah that was it really at the weekend today I was up early I was up at 6 30 and I went and did my lake walk and I think what I'm going to do is start doing that early in the morning I did my lake walk did my shopping at Asta that I needed for today and I was home by just after eight o'clock so that was absolutely brilliant I think while the mornings are light I'm going to try and get out and do my outside walk first thing I quite enjoyed it so um yeah, I don't know if I'll manage to do it every single morning of the week, Monday to Friday anyway, but um, we shall see. And then save the treadmill walk for either a bit later in the day if I need to get my steps up or whatever. Anyway, so that's a thought. Tomorrow I'm meeting a friend for a walk in the afternoon, someone I haven't, who I haven't seen since before COVID, so that would be really nice to have a catch up with her. Wednesday, my best friend and I are going out for lunch to a cafe inside. Oh, the joys. I cannot wait, cannot wait to go inside a cafe. How lovely will that be and have something to eat um so yeah that's wednesday and then thursday we are off to dorchester till saturday and we've got a night by ourselves in dorchester just ashley and myself and then uh, my mother and father and my brother and his wife are joining us for our second night um in dorchester looking forward to that um that as i said before will be a separate standalone video I think that's it for now I'm going to I'm just getting on with eBay listing today trying to get ahead of myself with that as well so um that's what's going on here today just cooking my toast for lunch um, toast with tomatoes on it's a new thing that I'm enjoying not a new thing but something that I've just got stuck on eating quite a lot at the moment very much enjoying sourdough toast with sliced tomatoes on with salt and pepper very nice um what was I going to say? Yeah, I, something I've thought about doing quite a lot recently is adding more sort of what's going on in the world content to these weekly vlogs, talking more about stuff that's in the news and what's happening in the world. Um, it's something that I'm quite interested in. And whenever I put little snippets in, the weekly vlogs I've, I've been testing it out a little bit putting little bits and pieces comment on, in on various things over the last few weeks and i seem to get a lot of feedback from you guys on it it seems you're quite interested in that sort of stuff as well so i'm going to try doing some little segments of state of the nation what's going on in the world type stuff um oh i just filled the bird feeders up because they were empty yesterday i just noticed they're filled up so yeah i thought i might introduce a little bit of that because um just to mix it up a little bit and 
see how we get on with that sort of content. Thought it might be interesting. Anyway, I'm going back to, I need to slice up my tomatoes and I can't talk and slice tomatoes at the same time apparently because I lose my thread. Just want to take a little break in today's video to thank Skillshare who are once again sponsoring today's video. This month with Skillshare I have been doing this course which is building an Etsy shop. I already sell on eBay and I'm quite interested in, I have dabbled in selling an Etsy before but I'm certainly not an expert and so I'm interested in learning a little bit more and seeing if I want to um, move more into selling on Etsy than I do at the moment. Um, Skillshare is an amazing online learning community. It has literally thousands of courses, everything from productivity to photography to creative writing, music, art, e-commerce, um, entrepreneurship. Um, they're regularly launching new courses as well so it's always worth checking back to see if there's anything new in the area that interests you. Most of the courses there are under 60 minutes so they're perfect for people who are short of time and what I really like about them is they're accessible, they're made into tiny small chunks, small chapters within that sort of ma maximum 60 minute um, time frame and you, so you can just do as much or as little as you want at a time so I find it really fits into if I'm having a little coffee break um, during the course of my day I can just do a couple of chapters at that point or at the end of the day or even before I start work in the morning it's just perfect in terms of slotting it into wherever it suits me. The cost of Skillshare is less than $10 a month if you have an annual subscription and the first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description box today will get a free trial of the premium membership. Right well there's a five second gap in the rainstorm rain showers rain showers probably rather than storm today although it has hailed thought i'd take you outside oh look there's ron he probably won't want to be filmed no paparazzi says ron hello ron look how thrilled he is to see me not yes off you go then you don't like me do you <laughs> what why are you shouting like that strange animal. There is my wisteria which has just come out. Isn't that lovely? I do love that plant. It doesn't last long is the only thing and even worse in this weather because it's been so blowy but it is really gorgeous. One of my favourite plants wisteria and my calla lilies are also out which are glorious. I love these lilies. I had these in my wedding bouquet. So so pretty and I'm going to take you up the garden because a viewer requested i'm sorry i can't remember your name to see um up in the garden where ashley was building the pond last year there has not been an awful lot of progress on this i have to say since last year because it's been shit weather and ashley's at work all the time um but i will show you what there has been He's planted a, God that needs weeding doesn't it? <laughs> He's planted a few more ferns and what have you around here in this sort of level and then that's looking quite nice now that's got more stones around it that's all sort of finished that layer apart from the pump for the pond which will go in at some point in the future. The big leafy plant I can't remember what that's called but that's one of those plants that comes up with giant li what's it bloody called I don't know big leafy plant will go with that is looking good and all his little ferns are growing as well plant looks the pond looks like a bloody swamp but hey and nothing else happened up there as you can see because getting hold of anyone to do anything workman wise is next to bloody impossible and because Ashley's always at work that's just the way it goes but never mind such is life um, and then this has he done anything down here? I think he did something down here the other week um, not that bit the next bit down he's put a few plants in and um, some gravelly stuff and then some rocks in that bit over there the trouble is I'm going to sound like an arse now so we just have to go with it is it is such a big garden with so many areas 
that it's impossible really to make much of a dent in making it look spectacularly different because it's di different from what it looked like before um, because it's basically firefighting to keep everything under control all the time. We do have a guy coming, he's just started a few weeks ago, who's quite good, who mows the front lawn now and tidies up a little bit in the front garden, but he only does two hours a week um, and he's limited as to what he can do because he has a um, gammy arm. I don't know, he had a motorbike, motorbike accident years ago, so he only has use of one arm. He's a very nice guy and um, he does a good job in terms of the bits and pieces he does do, but as I say, he's limited. Um, so yes, but that's what that looks like. It is about half past three. I've just finished my listing for the day. Today is the day, I've said this already, I think, that the pubs open and the restaurants. And um, we're vaguely thinking about going out for a curry tonight, which we probably shouldn't do. But hey, I haven't been to a restaurant in five months, so a bit naughty on a Monday night, isn't it? But anyway, we might do and we might not. Let's wait and see. So... I've just finished my eBay listing for the day, all listed up to Wednesday now, so that's good. I could do with tidying up the office and having a little sort out there because it's looking quite untidy. But I don't think I told you actually, I went for my second Covid jab on Saturday morning and they've moved the venue, it was somewhere else but it's only about half a mile away still and I was driving there and in the rain and suddenly there was this massive bang and something had dropped onto my windscreen and smashed it completely. Not all the way through, it didn't shatter, but it, well, I suppose it shattered but stayed in place is what you'd say. It's got um, like a big round, um, loads of cracks in it. So I don't know what it was. It didn't drop down onto the bonnet. So presumably it wasn't something that heavy, but it's just a mystery as to what it was, but it didn't half make me jump and it was right in front of my face as well. So nasty shock that was. Um, and I've just booked that to go in to have it replaced. It's being done on the insurance, but I've got 115 pound excess, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, right, well, there's a five second gap in the rainstorm. Rain showers? Rain showers, probably, rather than storm today, although it has hailed. Thought I'd take you outside. Oh, look, there's Ron. He probably won't want to be filmed. No paparazzi, says Ron. Hello, Ron. Look how thrilled he is to see me. Not. Yes, off you go then. You don't like me, do you? <laughs> what? Why are you shouting like that? strange animal. There is my wisteria which has just come out. Isn't that lovely? I do love that plant. It doesn't last long is the only thing and even worse in this weather because it's been so blowy but it is really gorgeous. One of my favourite plants wisteria and my calla lilies are also out which are glorious. I love these lilies. I had these in my wedding bouquet. So so pretty and I'm going to take you up the garden because a viewer requested i'm sorry i can't remember your name to see um up in the garden where ashley was building the pond last year there has not been an awful lot of progress on this i have to say since last year because it's been shit weather and ashley's at work all the time um but i will show you what there has been He's planted a... God, that needs weeding, doesn't it? <laughs> He's planted a few more ferns and what have you around here in this sort of level. And then that's looking quite nice now. That's got more stones around it. That's all sort of finished, that layer, apart from the pump for the pond, which will go in at some point in the future. The big leafy plant, I can't remember what that's called, but that's one of those plants that comes up with giant li what's it bloody called I don't know big leafy plant will go with that is looking good and all his little ferns are growing as well plant looks the pond looks like a bloody swamp but hey and nothing else happened up there as you can see 
because getting hold of anyone to do anything, workman-wise, is next to bloody impossible. And because Ashley's always at work. That's just the way it goes. But never mind. Such is life. Um, and then this. Has he done anything down here? I think he did something down here the other week. Um, not that bit. The next bit down he's put a few plants in and um, some gravelly stuff and then some rocks in that bit over there. The trouble is, I'm going to sound like an ass now, so we just have to go with it, is it is such a big garden with so many areas that it's impossible really to make much of a dent in making it look spectacularly different because it's di different from what it looked like before um, because it's basically firefighting to keep everything under control all the time. We do have a guy coming, he's just started a few weeks ago, who's quite good, who mows the front lawn now and tidies up a little bit in the front garden but he only does two hours a week um, and he's limited as to what he can do because he has a um, gammy arm. I don't know, he had a motorbike, motorbike accident years ago, so he only has use of one arm. He's a very nice guy, and um, he does a good job in terms of the bits and pieces he does do, but as I say, he's limited. Um, so yes, but that's what that looks like, and you're going to tell me it looks no different, and I know that. Right, it is about half past three. I've just finished my listing for the day. Today is the day, I've said this already, I think, that the pubs open and the restaurants and um, we're vaguely thinking about going out for a curry tonight, which we probably shouldn't do. But hey, I haven't been to a restaurant in five months, so a bit naughty on a Monday night, isn't it? But anyway, we might do and we might not. Let's wait and see. So, I've just finished my eBay listing for the day. All listed up to Wednesday now. So that's good. I could do with tidying up the office and having a little sort out there because it's looking quite untidy. But I don't think I told you actually, I went for my second Covid jab on Saturday morning and they've moved the venue, it was somewhere else but it's only about half a mile away still and I was driving there uh, in the rain and suddenly there was this massive bang and something had dropped onto my windscreen and smashed it completely. Not all the way through, it didn't shatter but it well, I suppose it's shattered but stayed in place is what you'd say. It's got um, like a big round um, loads of cracks in it. So I don't know what it was. It didn't drop down onto the bonnet. So presumably it wasn't something that heavy. But it's just a mystery as to what it was. But it didn't half make me jump and it was right in front of my face as well. <laughs> so nasty shock that was. Um, and I've just booked that to go in to have it replaced being done on the insurance but I've got £115 excess but it is what it is isn't it um next Monday it's got to go to Exeter but I'm meeting up with Kirsten next Monday in Exeter so um that all sort of slots in pretty well that's good anyway I've shown you my clematis haven't I out of the window should we go and look at it more closely because it really is very pretty should have taken you around to see that um before when we went outside um, I know that somebody is going to say oh you've got bars on your window you are right I have bars on my window um, the previous owners were very 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 security conscious and a lot of the windows have bars on we are eventually going to remove them when we do the outside of the house which will be the very last job we do after all the inside is finished so probably in about 20 billion years time I should think because that's how long it takes to get anything done these days it's an auspicious evening. We are going out for our first meal out indoors in five months. Heavens. Last time we went out was the night before your birthday, 30th of December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, five months. Back to the same venue. It's a tradition. It certainly is. No, all of them. No, leave it alone. Oh, I'm mine. Sorry. Well, yes. There's no limit. We've been out on a school night. This is my friend Faye. Hello. <laughs> I 
Ashley is there too. It's Monday night and we've been out and it's all very exciting. <laughs> Feels very strange, A, going out and B, going out on a school night. Yeah. Monday is the new Saturday. Apparently it is now, yes. Yeah. Although, perhaps Tuesday could be the new Saturday as well. We could go out every night. Tuesday is the new Sunday. Unfortunately, oh. I have a meeting quite early though, so perhaps it won't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Still got wet hair, I'm just going to dry it. It's Tuesday. Oh, it was so nice to go out last night. I had such a lovely time. Took me a little bit longer to get going this morning after a late night. Um, and ridiculously, I said to Ashley, oh, I'm looking forward to a quiet night in tonight. <laughs> Honestly, we've forgotten how to have exciting nights out, haven't we? <laughs> just, we need a break after we've been out. <laughs> Crazy times. Plans for today, I'm meeting my friend Lynn for a walk at two o'clock at the lake. So that would be nice, catch up with her. This morning I've got, I've just done all my parcels. I've got to pop out, drop off at the post office, drop off at the parcel shop, and I've got to pick up a pair of shoes I ordered from Next that are in and waiting for me to collect. So I'm going to do that. I've got some admin email bits to do, and I need to do some eBay listing again. So, yeah, that's the plan for the morning and the day, really. And then a quiet night in to recover from going out on Monday night. Ugh, just look at that again. More rain. I've been out, I've come back. I've decided to have a pretty much makeup free day today. Just a little bit of mascara on because at the weekend I was filming a lot. So I had makeup on all weekend and I do like to give my face a break once a week-ish, so I thought I'd make today the day. I have, I feel a bit like Bambi, I'm wandering around on a new pair of shoes that are really probably a little bit too high. When I did my shoe declutter, um, which you will have seen, yes, you'll have seen it by the time you see this, um, I realized that I don't have a pair of beige, nude, whatever color you want to call it, just plain, high-heeled court shoes and it was a gap in my wardrobe that I felt needed plugging so it's quite difficult to find a pair that aren't too high that are wide fit it took me quite a long time anyway I've tracked down this pair on next and they're not too bad I mean they're quite high they're never, never going to be the most comfortable of shoes they are carter bar shoes for sure but I think they're all right I've been staggering around the house in them for about 10 minutes and they haven't killed me yet um i would have liked them a little lower ideally they're slightly higher than my black lk bennett ones um but i didn't want to pay lk bennett prices really these were 25 pounds and i think they'll do ideal really so um yes that's good let me take them off so they stop making big holes in my carpet not just have one of these thai fish cakes for lunch they're from aldi i think I know it says the 11th of January, rest assured they've been in the freezer, they've not been in the fridge that long. Um, they're really surprisingly nice actually, I was not expecting much, but really tasted. Just had my daily little guilty pleasure of a wander through the Daily Mail um, website, which is basically a <laughs> scurrilous celebrity gossip and not an awful lot else, is it? And I see that Naomi Campbell has become a mother at the age of 50. Now, I don't know if she's adopted or if she's had the baby, you know, biologically or what, but as far as I'm aware, she's single. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, if that's what you want to do. Um, but 50, I mean, I'm guessing it wasn't a natural pregnancy, however it could be, I could be completely wrong. But what are your thoughts on people having babies at that age? Because all I can think of is when you're 60, you'll be standing at the primary school gates waiting for your kid to come out. 60, 60, that's eight years older than me and still having a kid in primary school. That, that seems many kinds of wrong to me I, would, I wouldn't want it for myself I mean I guess for the the kid's never going to want for anything financially so it's not like she won't be able to afford to have the, the thing I always think with a single person choosing to have a child 
is that you don't have the it's a lot of responsibility for one person isn't it there there is you know the buck very firmly stops with you i read a really sad case of an ex-army lady who had had children by herself and got terminal cancer a few years ago i can't remember her name it was quite well publicized at the time and um, she was desperately worried about what would happen to her children after she died obviously as she would be um, I don't think she had any other family either so it is a big responsibility from that point of view however I guess in many ways that having the sort of money that Naomi Campbell must have you are cushioned from a lot of the potential issues that could arise from being a or choosing to be a single parent um yeah, just, it's just that thought of being 60 and still being at the primary school gates that fills me with horror. I mean, I know we li live longer these days and life expectancies are longer. Um, but yeah, then what age would you be? Would you still be around when they graduated from university? Because you're going to be, I suppose, over 70 by then. But that, yeah, so you could, there's a reasonable expectation you'd still be around. Um, if they get married at 30, is 30 an average age to get married these days? Would you still be around for that? Because you're going to be 80 by then. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a reason that we stop being able to have children naturally, perhaps before the age of 50. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think. Interesting one to debate, that one. Good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday. It is a beautiful sunny day out. Sorry, I whizzed you all the way around then as I turned. <laughs> Hope I didn't make you feel sick. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. It's due to be nice all day today. Not so nice tomorrow when we go to Dorchester, but hey ho, hey, such is life. Um, it's about quarter past nine, I think. I've done a little bit of eBay listing and I'm just going to go and put these things out in storage and get yesterday's orders and then I'm going to put my face on right face is on I'm quite pleased with my makeup today I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette on my eyes and I feel like it's worked out well it's funny how you have some days where you feel it goes better than others isn't it i suppose i do do something different every day with my face so sorry i'm just gathering up all my parcels um right back to work now time for today's thinking about what's going on in the world or not so much really it's about half past 11 and i've had a very procrastinating morning i've been reacting rather than proacting this morning very much so New emails coming in that are more interesting than the ones I should be dealing with. So dealing with those and not doing my eBay listings and so on and so forth. Anyway, I just thought I'd have this little ramble to camera while I drink my coffee. My Al Cafe Caramel. It's not salted caramel, it's just caramel, by the way. I think I was talking about that earlier this week. Um, I need some lip salve on as well. Mm. And I might just have a quick squirt of facial mist. I always keep a face mist on my desk, and it's this one. I think this has been in a favourites before. It's the Elf Hydrating Coconut Mist, which is delicious. Oh, so lovely. Um, yes, all very nice. God, my glasses are bloody filthy. No wonder I can't see anything. Anyway, today, lots of stuff about the Middle East at the moment on the news and obviously, obviously nobody would deny that it's an absolute humanitarian tragedy. I mean, people, but apartment blocks being blown up and bombing civilians and lots of children dying and innocent victims. Just that goes without saying that it's absolutely terrible, but... The whole overarching Middle East crisis, the Israel and Palestine thing, I don't really have an opinion on it. I don't really feel... And I feel like it's wrong not to have an opinion. Do you feel like these days we're expected to have an opinion about everything? And although I know the background, I know a little bit about the history of it, but I don't feel well informed enough to have an opinion, I guess is what I'm saying. 
and I also don't feel any sort of desire to inform myself better about it and in one half of me feels that you should want to inform yourself better um, because you ought to know about these things that are going on in the world and the other half of me thinks God as if there isn't enough misery and suffering going on without going and reading a whole raft more stuff about it and learning about that and feeling more miserable about it and frankly I can't do anything about it anyway and I know that's a bit of a shit attitude isn't it but that's what I feel. I feel like you can't take on the woes of the world on board, can you? And it's just it's just exhausting being expected to have an opinion about anything. I ge ge genuinely don't have an opinion and perhaps people up you guys feel more strongly about it. I think I should have an opinion. Or I, d I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? I feel like I just... Although obviously I can see it's a complete humanitarian crisis and it's terrible and nobody, nobody, nobody could, should obviously be killing children and civilians to try and put their point across. But yeah, that's the only opinion I've got about it. I don't have an opinion about the political situation at all. I just don't have the wherewithal to have that opinion anyway let me know what you think about this one maybe you're hating all this me talking about what's happening in the news talking about what's happening in the news Naomi Campbell it transpires that it was probably a surrogate pregnancy which I mean most of what I said yesterday about that whole situation about becoming a mother at that age um was more about motherhood at that age than about pregnancy at that age so um most of what I said still stands but um yeah, that would seem the most sensible idea, wouldn't it? A surrogate at that, if you want to have children at that age, I would think the risk is lower anyway. Right, I feel like I've procrastinated enough, probably. I'm going to um, list some stuff on eBay. I am going to list some things on eBay right now and stop procrastinating. I'm just sorting out outfits and stuff for going away. And uh, I was going to show you what I was packing and what combinations I was putting together and stuff, but I'm going to video while video vlog while I'm there anyway, so um, you'll be seeing it all at the time type of thing. So there's not a lot of point. I have just got my makeup ready for tomorrow. Um, top tip for travelling. Um, not really a top tip actually, but I always get my red makeup ready the day before. It's all here. What I'm taking, uh, that, that doesn't include the brushes, haven't got brushes there with that lot. But um, I get my makeup ready the day before and then I put it on from what I've got ready but to make sure I've got everything in the morning before I go. That way I don't forget anything. That always works quite well. Right, I think I'm going to sign off for this video. Um, Nothing else exciting is going to happen today. Nothing exciting has happened today. I say nothing else as though something exciting has happened already when it really truly hasn't, has it? But yeah, I think that's it for today. I think, um, or this week, um, I will see you again on Wednesday with another video, um, which will probably be my trip to Dorchester. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Anyway, have a lovely rest of the weekend, everybody. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.